Fujitsu Laboratories has made a breakthrough in carbon nanotube research. The company has combined carbon nanotubes and graphene, both of which are nanoscale carbon structures, to cell form a new nanoscale carbon composite at the relatively low temperature of 510 degrees Celsius. The graphene is a honeycomb crystal lattice of carbon atoms. やっぱ偶然新しい構造を発見したっていうところがやっぱあの普通研究者はよくあの失敗したと思って見落としてしまっている中にやっぱ実は新しいものが入ってきたというところがあたあの重要だったんじゃないかなと思いますそれがあの今まで見たことのない構造だったのであの普通失敗したと思ってしまったところが実はそこの基盤の中には新しい構造が含まれていたっていう。In experiments using chemical vapor deposition, a technique to synthesize thin films and structures on a substrate by thermally decomposing a feedstock gas in a vacuum chamber, Fujitsu Labs discovered that several to dozens of layers of graphene were formed self organizingly on the vertically aligned multi volt carbon nanotubes in such a way that they are connected perpendicularly. 一次元あの例えば基盤のに垂直に、えー、成長していたんですけれども、えー、今回のはそのチューブの上にグラファイトの層が数層、えー、生えるそういう新しい構造でその結果としてカーボンナノチューブの一次元的な高い電動性がグラファイトの表面の二次元的な電動性にうまくつながっている。It is known that carbon nanotubes are linear, one dimensional structures, and therefore they nearly lack thermal or electrical conductivity between tubes in the two dimensional directions perpendicular to the tube axis. As attention has been paid to heat, how to increase heat radiation is becoming an important issue. The carbon nanotube composite is expected to be a material with high heat radiation capability. Since graphite transmits electrons very smoothly, it can also function as a semiconductor. As an electronics company, Fujitsu Labs aims to use the new structure to improve today's LSI performance. By applying it to dealing with LSI heat radiation and using it in transistors. Dig in for news.